Jeanne looks down at her spotless hands, still feeling the tingle of magic within them. Yes, she thinks. I... Maybe I can overcome the obstacles in front of me. Maybe I do have the power. All it takes is lots and lots of meteor strikes. Numbly stumbling around the camp, she begins collecting everything that was once the band. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Heedless of the weight cost. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. I'm doing good with these things. I can give away what I don't need and what I do need will just help me to help other people. I have people. too much to carry. I must drop some items first. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. She reaches into the barrel and heedless of even there. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Enormous size. She picks up handfuls of salted fish. I have too much to fish. carry. I must drop some items first. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. And then collapses upon a bedroll, exhausted. Well, what's done is done, and I think this kingdom is a better place for it. Now I really have to get rid of some of this thing, some of these things, and then set out to help people in whatever way I can. Thus Jan began the slow walk back, with the intention of heading towards the teleporter. It was quiet and forlorn in the poor part of Rivertown. She enjoyed returning the way she hadn't gone before, as if marking every detail of the squalid village she found herself in. Who is this person? Jonas. Have I spoken to you before, Jonas? Back so soon and still alive, you're lucky. Any idea why I should stay away from this section of town? The poor section of town is a rough place, my friend. And cautious people are robbed or even murdered in the back alleys. Last week, for example, the town watch found the corpses of three drunks who used to sleep on the streets. I can look after myself. Thank you, anyway. Listen, this place has its own rules. Just because you can look after yourself out in the wilds, that don't mean you're any safer than a lost babe in town. Here, if somebody wants you dead, you won't ch challenge you in the open. They'll just find you in the next morning with a knife in your back. Excuse me, time to go. this building. Lane. You returned sooner than I expected. I hope everything went well. What do you want from me? Can you still visit your friend in the quarantined area? Of course not. Um, why'd you ask? I would like to visit the quarantined area, but the soldiers won't let me in. Of course they will. Why would you risk your life entering the area? I'm just curious, but you're probably right. That it's too dangerous. Oh, the risks are for me to take. Now, can you still get in? Lane? Mm, Alright. I bring some food to Cedric occasionally. Here, take this key. It unlocks the outside door of Coroner's house. 
in the southwest of the quarantined area. Be careful. If you get caught, you didn't get the key from me, understood? Um, and my dialogue options are a repeat of Lane's dialogue? Well, that's a deal. Thanks. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Hmm, alright. I bring some food. Oh, this is me saying this? So I'm, I, I'm happy to bring food to the quarantine people. I think... That's probably my mission. At this point in time... We're gonna head back to the quarantine area. Slowly and surely, with heavy, tired footfalls, Jan makes her way back to the quarantined area. Good morning, officer. Maybe this is the door Lane spoke of. That was nice. I certainly could do to clean up in here. Where is everyone? Why have they let it get so rat infested? Ah, Sarah. Please, leave me alone. I, I don't want anyone to see me like this. The plague strips away dignity as it strips away life. But it matters not. I will die soon enough. I will not allow you to become another victim of the disease. I will find a way to cure you. There is no cure. The good Dr. Elrath has tried to save me, but he says you can only slow the process. What can you tell me about Dr. Elrath? He 
He's a brave and kind soul, constantly risking his own health by treating us plague victims. What does the doctor ask you to do? Well, he instructs us to rest as much as possible and to drink often. And do you follow that up carefully? Of course we do. Surely after poor Coroner died, he d Oh dear. Is, is the person's name Coroner or is that their job? Very unfortunate either way. He did not follow the doctor's instructions carefully. He refused to drink lots of fresh water. The doctor found him the next day. He suffocated in his sleep because of the high fever, of course. Take care. I don't know if you can suffocate because of a fever. It's beyond my medical expertise. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to mark you on my map, Sarah. Find a po I must find a potion to cure Sarah, one of the plague victims in the quarantine area of the poor quarter. Oh. Interesting. I didn't realize this was sort of potion curable. Okay. Um, this house? Ced Cedric. Don't come near me, Dr. Elrath said. They have the damn plague, go away. You don't look very healthy. What can you tell me about this mysterious plague? It's called the, the Grey Death. The gods themselves created this plague to make us suffer for our sins. Um, how did you get the disease? A few weeks ago I woke up with a sore throat and I was itching all over. At first I thought I, <coughs> I had a hangover from a party with friends the day before. Although I took care to drink lots of water before going to sleep. <coughs> But later, Dr. Elrath passed by and identified these symptoms to be of the Grey Death. I was put in quarantine immediately. <clears throat> Were you all moved to these houses? No, we all lived here before that damn disease came into our lives. We'll come back later again. I'm not going to offer to put uh, anyone out of their misery. I mean, so far we've only got three cases of this plague, right? So, how plaguey is it? Large empty flask. Oh. These flasks smell funny. Who hid them here and why? Hmm. Interesting. This is all pointing rather to a, uh, interesting state of affairs. Oh, the alt button doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Interesting. the third house. Way. Yeah, I can. Anybody here? 
You have personal around Tybus. I've been infected with the Gory Death. Listen, my family is very rich. They would do anything if you could help me. Mm, you sure? Um, how did you become infected with the Gory Death? I do not know. I suddenly felt a burning sensation in my throat and, and then the fevers came. Please, you must help me. Alas, I'm no healer. How can I help you? There must be a, <clears throat> a way to cure the plague. Please. <clears throat> I don't want to die. What can you tell me about your family? I am the soul's son of Sir Dante. I am of noble blood. You must please help me. <clears throat> I'm sorry to say this, but your place looks like a dump. Don't you have any decency? Well, that was the use of cleaning up. If you can die any moment, I've lost my pride. Oh, besides, Dr. Elrath told me not to do any efforts and to rest as much as possible. Take care. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm kind of suspecting that, uh, Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so Yeah, uh, it's the one about the plague. Yeah, it seems seems like it's going to be an easy solution, frankly. I have a look at this glass of wine. Oh, okay. We may have just contracted some kind of contagion. All right, well, I've found some suspicious things. Maybe I can ask Cedric about the flasks that are outside. That would be helpful. I think, where did you take the water? Yeah, from the well, of course. Where else? Hmm. Come back later. So, some empty flasks hidden next to the well. Can I do anything with the well? Hmm, deeply suspicious. I don't know if there's anything more I can do here right now. But, uh, I might try visiting the Redoubtable Doctor again. Are the, um... The empty flasks there. Okay, they're there. Hmm. Well, let me at least leave these people some food before I go. Um, but I'm going to head back to the marketplace, try and find the doctor, um, and get rid of some of these things. Anything? Hmm. Can I have a look at your water, please, Sarah? So I am suspicious of her. Hey, that's mine. Oh. Sorry, Sarah. Uh, where's that? Uh, where's that cup of water? Uh, there it is. Pop it back. Sorry about that. 
Can I give you stuff? No, I can't. Uh, not directly, but have some fish. And some cheese. That's for you. Hi Cedric, have some meat. And some carrots. I'll do you some good. Are you sure I can't inspect this well? Interesting, so when I highlight that, it doesn't highlight the other things I can interact with, just the locations that I can visit. Oh. Well, we've got one more stop on our food dispensary. Okay, um, I'm going to give you these fish. And some fruit. Um, so I didn't like to talk to anybody more about the the clues that I found. So I think, alas, um, I'm gonna have to try and work this one out myself from outside the quarantined area. I knew it. I knew there was something I could do here. Some good that could come out of this. I think there's a plot afoot. Someone wants these people poisoned, wants the fear of the quarantine. So in character, I think that's what's happening. But out of character, not not the the best storyline to be uh, to be doing in uh, twenty twenty two. But there we go.